Well, here it is. Here is your beautiful trombone. Let's take it out of the case. First, this is the bell section. Hold your bell section in the middle like this. I'm going to switch hands because now we're going to grab the slide. The slide is made of very thin metal, so we have to be careful to not bang it against something or dent it or bend it in any way. These are two parts and they assemble like this. where the bell section rests on the slide. And this is a receiver that we twist on until it's snug. Now we can hold the horn in one piece. This is a slide lock. The slide lock keeps the slide from moving when you don't want it to. This is something we need to be aware of because it could go pretty fast. Last, we have our mouthpiece. And the mouthpiece goes in the mouthpiece receiver. I like to twist it to the right a little bit so it's nice and snug. Never ram it in. Certainly don't do this, but a little twist and it holds it in place. We certainly don't want to rest the trombone, actually, rest our arms on the trombone with the slide on the ground because it puts a lot of pressure on the metal. It's a very thin metal. So it's best to always hold the trombone like this or if you're going to rest it on the end, hold it lightly. Even though our trombone is pretty durable in all sorts of weather conditions, it's best to put it away when you're finished back in the case. I like to blow the water out of the water key, and then wipe it down on the outside, and wipe down the slide before we put it away safely. It's a good idea to keep it out of harm's way. The metal is very thin, and accidents do happen. Notice that I'm putting the slide away last because it's the most fragile. Now our trombone is safe and sound.